How's it going everybody? My name is Jim. Welcome to Restoration Projects. This video is going to be about building this uh, little pry bar here with wheels on it. And uh, I built the original one here about three or four years ago and I found it to be just super handy. Only issue is it's a little bulky so I want something a little bit smaller and a little bit more maneuverable. So that's where this guy came into play. So stick with me and we're going to build this.
Okay, that completes the build. So I wanted to compare and contrast here. You have the red one is the original one I built a couple years ago. And I just found it to be super handy to have around the shop. Anything heavy I needed to move um, that I couldn't get a uh, hand all ender, this thing worked great. So a little bit spec wise, this is one inch by two inch uh, tubular steel. It's an eighth inch thick walled. And this top one here that I just built, three and a half feet from the axle to the back. This bottom one here is four and a half feet from the axle to the back. Um, geometry, this one sticks out a little bit longer here. So the toe here sticks out about an inch uh, further. And smaller bearings, uh, only reason I want smaller bearings is I didn't have any of these in stock. These bigger bearings are actually what sit in the 14 inch delta bandsaw. And I had some lying around, so that's why I used them. This one right here, these are one inch diameter bearings with a half inch uh, axle shaft going through. And they work just fine. If you're on concrete, no problem. If you're on anything softer, uh, are probably not going to work very good. Uh, the toe here, I built that out of uh, three quarter inch by two inch uh, stock here. I think this is cold or hot rolled. Um, and this is what my milling machine sits on. So my milling machine's leveling feet video that I did. This is some leftover bar stock that I had laying around from that. And that's what I built this out of. Um, as far as the design, the first one, I put this back spine in here just to give it some more support because I was worried that this weld wouldn't hold here. But I'm not worried about that with this one. Uh, there's more than enough weld on here to hold. And this really doesn't provide any additional support. Um, it just gave me more to weld on. And it didn't really... I, I don't think structurally it makes much of a difference. And if I'm putting so much pressure on this that I am needing this to keep welds from breaking or keep from bending down here, then I need a bigger machine than myself. Um, you know, for, move, for getting underneath a bridge port or something that around the 2,000 pound range, this works fine. And I can lift up my bridge port, no problem. Just tipping it back and forth with this just fine. Three and a half feet of leverage is more than enough for what we need. Um, so welded this up here. Um, I did groove some little feet in here. This is just to give you a little bit more traction. So whatever you're lifting doesn't slide off as easy. So this is just pure uh, machine surface metal. Uh, whatever you're going to lift is going to slide off easy. So this is just to give you a little bit more traction. Um, that's really the big differences. If I had to pick one, I could only keep one. In all reality, I'd probably just stick with a small one. Um, this will lift anything in my shop, no problem. Yes, I have to put a little bit more force on it because it's a shorter throw of a handle, but not by much. So, and the reason I would go with a smaller one is it's more maneuverable and it's easier to store. This red one takes up a little bit more space, a little bit heavier. Um, the handle I have in the back here, um, it's nice, it's handy, but not necessary. Uh, I'm not going to put one in here because it's not needed. So uh, this is just a luxury that I had in there. I thought I'd use it more, and I do, but it makes storing it a bit of a pain in the butt. So hopefully you guys got something out of this video. If you did, please smash that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.